This morning, 200 Marines and sailors with the 2nd Battalion 5th Regiment will return to Camp Pendleton. The men have been busy the past few months providing humanitarian aid and disaster relief to the people of Japan who were affected by the March earthquake and tsunami. We'll be there when they come home and bring it to you on later editions of 10 News and 10news.com. Well, four-year-old Eli Shane, injured in the bus stop car crash, which killed his mother, should be released from the hospital later today. The little, little boy's arm and leg were broken and his liver ruptured when a PT cruiser driven by a 71-year-old diabetic woman crashed into them last weekend. Eli didn't know his mother, Vanessa Shane, had died in the crash until his grandparents told him. We didn't use any words like death or dying. And then a visitor came in later on that day and, and walked up to him and, you know, and he said, uh, my mommy's dead. So he knows. Surveillance video of the crash shows Vanessa Shane motioning to her son to get out of the way. She then runs to block her boyfriend who was also injured. Well, it's time to get prepared for wildfire season. City leaders and firefighters in Chula Vista are kicking off a campaign to help get everyone prepared. It's called Ready, Set, Go, and it's intended to encourage residents to keep defensible space around their homes. Firefighters also encourage people to put together a crisis response plan. And now 10 News Time Saver Traffic with Melanie Mendez. Starting off with a very serious crash near Camp Pendleton. We have a SIG alert in place on the 5. This crash involves an overturned vehicle. It's blocking the left lane. One person was killed in that crash. It happened an hour ago. Elsewhere, we have a wreck southbound 5 at Lucadia. It's causing a lot of slowing, but it's on the right side of the road. And a third crash in El Cajon, eastbound 8 at 2nd Street. No injuries being reported. I'm Melanie Mendez with your Time Saver Traffic. This morning, a City Heights neighborhood is trying to recover from a SWAT standoff. Police blocked off the neighborhood for hours yesterday after witnesses tracked two gunmen from a double shooting in a nearby park. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's, it's, it's mainly calm, but today it was unexpected. I never knew that he was get to this point where we have a standoff now. The shooting caused nearby Fay Elementary School to go into lockdown. A couple of hours into the standoff, police fired through the apartment window and threatened to send in police dogs. The two men eventually surrendered. During the standoff, one officer was injured when his own police dog bit his arm. The San Diego Unified School Board has approved a preliminary list of budget cuts aimed at closing the district's projected $120 million deficit. The list includes increasing class sizes in kindergarten through third grade, closing 10 schools, and a return to half-day kindergarten. This budget decision is not final. The final budget is due in June. Well, in Baltimore, three people are in the hospital this morning after a rare tornado tore the roofs off of their homes. Streets were flooded with emergency crews working to free people from their damaged houses. The winds also flipped cars and planes and knocked out power.